CMPD needs your help finding a missing woman and her two children. Take a good look at your screen. This is 22 year old Markayla Johnson, along with four year old Miracle and seven month old Messiah. Police say family members haven't heard from them and are concerned about their safety. They were last seen on Orchard Trace Lane in Northeast Charlotte. If you have any information, call 911. Hello everyone, my name is Schneer and this is Talking Crime. On this platform, we touch bases on domestic violence situations, missing cases situations, and sometimes crime in general. On this platform, my goal is to uplift, encourage you guys, and hopefully some of these cases will keep you safe and aware of your surroundings. A lot of times, often, we don't even realize the bad is around us. And sometimes we hope that things will change. And hopefully some of these stories will help one day someone that's going through the same situation as these people. Unfortunately, they didn't get to make it. But fortunately, their situations could possibly help someone else. You guys, this is Talking Crime. And today's case is about a young lady. It is so tragic and heartbreaking because this young lady, her name was Michaela Johnson and Michaela was only 22 years old, starting to get used to what her life could be. Unfortunately, her life was cut short by the hands of someone that said they loved her. As like many cases, Michaela probably thought this person could change, but unfortunately he didn't. Causing Michaela and her two beautiful daughters to now no longer be on this earth. This is the story of Michaela Johnson. Michaela and her beautiful daughters lived in Charlotte, North Carolina. Michaela was a loving, caring mother. She was devoted to her kids and hopefully bringing them the best of life. Like any other mother, Michaela job was to protect her children and also People describe Michaela as this warm hearted person and would do anything and give anything to anybody in need. Michaela family was devastated when she became missing on March the 3rd. Now on March the 3rd, nobody heard from Michaela. So her family reported her missing. By March the 8th, the police got deeper into the investigation and put it out to the public where it was aired on news and flyers was placed around the apartment complex that Michaela was last seen at. Now, Michaela had both of her daughters with her and they were also missing. People were searching for her vehicle and also trying to figure out her last whereabouts. Of course, witnesses lasting her at her boyfriend's apartment visiting, but that was the last time anybody saw Michaela. Eventually, police got a search warrant to search the actual apartment. And that's when tragically they found Michaela and her seven month year old daughter and her four year old daughter deceased in the apartment. Manhunt for the person of interest in the murders of this Charlotte mother and two young children ends with a man in custody more than 2,000 miles away. Today, CMPD announced the arrest of the mother's boyfriend, 34 year old Benj Benjamin Taylor. Now this is Taylor's mugshot from a prior arrest in Charlotte last year involving drug and weapon charges. Charges include possession of a firearm by a felon and possession of cocaine. Detectives say Taylor was arrested in Southern California late last night near San Diego. That's right on the U.S.-Mexico border. Now we've been on top of this story since 22 year old Markayla Johnson and her two children, four year old Miracle and seven month year old Messiah were reported missing earlier this month. That search ended yesterday when police announced they found all three dead inside their Northeast Charlotte apartment. People around the apartment complex told WBTV Johnson was last seen there visiting Taylor, who they also didn't see for several days. CMPD says after exhausting every lead, they got a search warrant for the unit on Friday. That's when officers found human remains at the complex and less than 24 hours later, they were identified as Johnson and her two children. 
She was such a loving person. Everybody knew that that knew her. He was taking advantage of her. As of now, it's unclear why Taylor went to California or how he got there. Tonight, Benjamin Taylor is being held in a California jail while he awaits extradition to North Carolina to face charges. Now, Michaela was in a relationship, but the person that she was in a relationship with was nowhere to be found. They also told a Camaro that was outside of the apartment complex that was said to be Michaela's vehicle. And they took the remains and investigated to find out whether they were really Michaela and her daughter's remains. Unfortunately, the autopsy and stuff came back and it was. Now, on March 15th, 2014 at 2 p.m. is when they decided to go in with the search warrant and found these remains inside the apartment. Immediately after everything came back 12 days later, they wound up searching for Michaela's boyfriend at the time, Benjamin Taylor, age 35. Benjamin, you see, was all the way in California by this time, over by Mexico border. I mean, it's obvious that he had something to do with this whole situation. Now, Taylor is being held in California, but soon he will be transported back to North Carolina to face charges. Three counts of murder, one count of concealing a death. And also, this is not Taylor's first time in trouble. It's said that he got in trouble for domestic violence before, also assault, battery, drug charges, and also weapon charges and kidnapping charges. So I'm not quite sure if Michaela even knew this. She probably didn't even know that he had such a lengthy background, but Michaela and her daughter was innocent in this whole thing. Unfortunately, his anger got the best of him, taking three innocent people lives, a seven month year old and a four year old, and then fleeing North Carolina to California. I mean, who does this Taylor dude think he is? I'm so happy that he's in custody and hopefully Michaela's family get the justice that they deserve because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, these innocent people lost their lives and it's time we clean the streets of this nonsense. You guys, let's pray for Michaela's mother, sisters, and family members and loved ones that will dearly miss her and her children. This is unfortunate for Michaela, but hopefully Michaela's story helped out someone else to move forward, leave a toxic situation, and prevent these domestic violence situations. You guys, thanks for watching Talking Crime. Don't forget to like, comment, and definitely subscribe to my channel. And you guys, hopefully y'all watch this video all the way through because the sun was not on my side today. I mean, it's just going in and out. But thanks for sticking with me the whole video if you're still here. Don't forget to join the family. Talking crime. Peace.